UK's win over Vanderbilt yesterday was like any story. You had the plot, which of course was the game, a contest in which Kentucky led just about from start to finish. They hung on down the stretch for a 74-67 win, but of course, in any story, there's the subplot, that being the wounded Wildcats. No Ty Winyard, no Quade Green, and no Jared Vanderbilt. Kentucky, however, is 2-0 with only seven scholarship players, but let's not forget that the two teams they beat are a combined one and nine in conference play. Before game time, people were speculating whether Jared Vanderbilt would play. He was in full uniform, participated in pregame drills. Obviously, he would not check in. Here's Cal on life is a wounded Kentucky Wildcat. I didn't know if Jared was going to play before the game. I was doing the board, and I'm just acting like he's not here. And if he is, if they are, they are. The problem with being injured when you're on my teams, I really spend no time with you. And sometimes, I want to say this out loud, I forget names. Like, I even forget who he is. Who are you? Wait, what? Because i got to focus on the guys that I'm coaching right now. Uh, they got to get healthy and be ready to come back and, and be ready to go. Jared, the same. UK led about 90% of the game, but things got interesting late. They fouled Riley LaChance on a three. He was a 90% shooter. Key word was he missed all three, and UK survived. Five SEC games in the books. They've all been battles. That makes UK battle-tested. We really tested, especially the last two games with them being so close, so close down the stretch. But uh, yeah, I think we're, that's how it's going to be all season. We're going to continue to grow, and we're going to make strides, and we're going to be really good by the end of the season. Every team's going to come at us with pretty much everything, so we've got to be able to uh, show that we're mature and be able to uh, make winning plays down the stretch, be able to get, uh, get stops on defense, and show people that we can actually win games in the SEC. Here's a look at the updated SEC standings. Only Auburn remains unblemished, and what's crazy about that is the Tigers – they have the longest NCAA tourney drought in the league. They haven't been since 2003. I imagine that would change. UK and Florida sit at second. Those two will meet next weekend. UK's next opponent, South Carolina, down there at 2-3. and three. And then the big shocker, Texas A&M, a top-10 team just last month, 0-5 in the conference and are in some serious trouble. The biblical figure, Samson, was known to have had super strength. He was even able to take down a lion with his bare hands. However, the strength only remained if he kept his long locks. Shea Gilgis Alexander is the exact opposite of Samson. Since he chopped off his hair, his game has completely changed. Before the haircut, Shea seemed like somewhat of a role player, maxing out at 15 points in 11 games and averaging overall under 10. Oddly enough, he chops off his hair, and all of a sudden, he's the best player on this team. He's eclipsed that 15-point mark in five of his last six and has nearly doubled his points per game in that span. It's like he's a new player, and it's not because of the hair. I'm playing with a lot of confidence, uh, but I just it's the work I'm putting in, and, and I know once you work hard, it, it'll pay off, and, and it's showing. Bo Allen has plenty of time before he has to make a decision on college, but his number of choices keeps expanding. A Lexington Catholic sophomore quarterback was offered by the Troy Trojans today. That's a program that's on the rise thanks to Danville native Neil Brown, who's done a remarkable job rebuilding the wall down there. Allen is the son of former U.K. quarterback Bill Allen. It's been quite some time since the Kentucky women's team has won back-to-back -back games. They will have a chance to do that tomorrow. The Cats are fresh off their first SEC win down in Florida. Now their attention turns to Vanderbilt in Memorial Gym. Coach Mitchell likes what they've been doing in practice. Can that translate over tomorrow night? Uh, I think we're improving, getting better. And, um, you know, we've been wanting our practice to show up in the game, and that just hadn't been happening. And, and we saw some things show up that allowed us to earn that victory. And that's what we'll be trying to do at Vanderbilt, to see if we can get our good practice to show up in the game. The dynasty continues. The Kentucky cheerleading team won their 23rd national championship tonight in Orlando. The title was their third in a row. Congrats to everyone involved. Vikings and Saints. Vikings down one with eight seconds to go. Let's send it over to Joe Buck on the call. Gannon steps into it. Pass is caught. Diggs! Sideline! Touchdown! Unbelievable! 
That is incredible. Diggs sending the Vikings to the NFC Championship game as time expires against the Eagles. We will be right back.